Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to attempt one more question from UiPath Advanced RPA Developer Practice Test. So this question is more around the Git source control. Now let's read the question. A developer is working on a project with other developers and using Git source control in UiPath Studio. The developer made some modification in the workflow code on the local machine and then selected the comment and push button. What is the outcome of this action? So remember, we need to have a um, example, right? What is this question is all about? So let's say I have a sample example on my studio and this particular project, Bank A1 project is already connected with Git source control. Okay, this is already connected with Git source control. Now, before, um, you know, let's say I am the developer who will be doing some changes to the project. So first of all, before I do make changes, I will do a pull rebase so that uh, the remote repository which is there on github.com and the studio version remains both are same. Okay, now both are same. Now let's say as a developer, I am going to add few activities and make some changes. Now keep it simple. I will add a message box and here I am going to say, so I am doing it on my local system, right? Welcome to automate with Rakesh. Okay, so I have made changes to my local system. I am going to save the project. The moment I hit on save on UAPA Studio, because it is already connected to GitHub, you would see there is a uh, there is an indication saying there is an edit. There is one change made. Okay. Now, as a developer, what I would do? I will right click on the project and then I am going to hit on commit. Okay. Now, the moment I do commit, here it is going to ask me commit message. So, I am going to say added the message box. In a real time project, you will not do it for one one activity. You will completely design the workflow. Then you will say this workflow has been designed. Now, for the demo purpose, I am simply adding a message box. So, I am giving a message saying added a message box. Now here I am saying commit and push. So the moment I hit on commit and push, right? What happens? So that is the question. If I go back, a developer is working on a project with other, other developer and using Git source control in UiPath Studio. The developer made some modification in the workflow code on the local machine. So just now I made a modification on my local machine and then selected commit and push. So this is the question. Getting it? So you got an understanding what is the question. So here the question is, what is the outcome of this action? So what would happen if I do so, right? Now, what would happen if I do so? Before I hit on commit and push, I'm going to show you something. First thing, go to the projects tab. Right click on this project and then go to open project folder. Okay, open project folder. That's going to take you to the folder where this project resides on your local laptop. Or on your local machine so bank a1 modification is the project and this is where it lies and you can see dot git it is connected to source control so this is the local repository so this becomes your local repository so there are two different terms uh, one has to remember one is the local repository so you got the understanding what is the local repository repository means the place where the data is stored right so this becomes your local repository and what is the remote repository on the github.com so this becomes your so all these files are available right all the files that is here all those files are also available here so this becomes your remote repository clear okay now what happens if i go back to the studio right click hit on commit and then I'm going to add a commit message, added message box, or I have done modi you know, whatever your modification you have done, put a message, and then you're going to hit on commit and push. So remember why commit and push? What is commit and push? Now to have a clear understanding, I'm going to demonstrate this in this video. However, all you can do simply type automate with Rakesh on YouTube. Okay, and then go to this channel. This is my channel and go to <laughs> In this playlist, I have got complete details of how to do UiPath GitHub version control. I have got several videos on this. You can see I've got several videos and one of the video where I have explained what is commit in Git, what is push in Git. This is very important video that one should watch. 
okay anyways i'm going to explain it over here but again if you want to go through the entire series please do follow the playlist now what would happen here you understood what is a local repository and what is a remote repository both the things you have seen this is the local repository so when you do commit so commit means saving in the local repository very simple to remember commit means you are saving in the local repository you are save the changes in the in where in the local repository this is clear now push that means from your local repository you are pushing this changes pushing the changes from local so you are pushing the changes from the local to the remote repository so this is known as push the word push means you are pushing the changes to the remote repository commit means saving the changes to the local repository here this is understood now let's go back to the studio and i'm going to hit on commit and push so what i said added message box just to indicate i will say rakesh okay added message box hyphen rakesh and i'm going to hit on commit and push <coughs> So once I do that, if you go to the remote repository, okay, and then in the remote repository, if I do a refresh, okay, you can see added a message box, Rakesh, 14 seconds ago. So that means the changes has been pushed to the, from your local system, it has pushed to the github.com, right, the remote repository. So let's read the question and you will be able to answer this quite confidently. What is the outcome of this action? Current changes were committed and pushed to the local repository? No. Committed means committed to the local repository, pushed to the remote repository. So this sentence is wrong. Local changes were committed to the remote repository? No. Lo committed. No. Remote repository, what is the word comes? Push, right? You need to push it to the remote repository, not commit. Commit means to the local repository. So this sentence is also wrong. Third sentence. Local changes were committed to the local repository and then pushed to the remote repository. Yes, this is correct. As per our definition, the third option is absolutely correct. So we'll go with this. Current version was committed to the remote repository. No, committed to the remote repository. This sentence is wrong. It has to be always pushed to the remote repository. And so it is vice versa they have written. So this is wrong. So the correct answer is this one. Getting it. So this way, if you have a complete understanding, you will be able to answer any question. If you have an understanding how things work, then you will be able to answer any such question. So this is the right answer. So thank you guys for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. There are multiple playlists which I have created. You can take benefit of them. If you are a beginner, you can start from the learn variable data types and continue to go up. And also you can go through the UiPath Academy and in combination you can watch and see the demos that I have created. So many demos, okay? Multiple videos that I have created, almost 500 plus videos just on UiPath. So please do follow it. So thank you guys. We are going to meet once again in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.